Hey everyone, this is Larry. Welcome back to todayifeellike.com. Today, I wanna to show you the one app that you definitely have to have if you're switching from iPhone over to Android. So if you're going from iOS to Android, this is the one app that you really, really are gonna to wanna to have. Let's go check it out. Alright, so here we are in the app AirDroid and on my computer we have it here and let me just uh, let me just move this over a little bit so I can put my phone screen up here as well. So we'll just go ahead and we'll move this over to the left and there we go. So let's go ahead and put the phone screen up now and there we go. So we can see I have my Galaxy Note 10 Plus screen up there and I have my AirDroid uh, you know, uh, for the computer up here. And one of the things that I like to do with AirDroid is use it to replace AirDrop with my with my Mac and my iPhone and iPad. So uh, if you want to send a file, it's very easy. All you do is just simply like, for instance, I'm gonna send a video. So I'm gonna open up my gallery and we can see right here, this first one here is a video. So now all I have to do in order to send this over to my computer is just hit the little share button and then I can go ahead and hit AirDroid. And when I do, I, I will then see my devices here because I already have my devices set up. I can go ahead and click on my computer and it will start to send over this file right to my computer, just that easy. Now this is really important because if you wanna send over a large file like this, normally you can't do it just that easy because you would have to try and text it or email it or something like that, which 120 megabytes for a file is just simply too large. But with AirDroid, you can just simply select a device that you want and then send it right out over there and it sends it and it's just absolutely incredible and very, very easy to do. Now, as you can see on my phone side, it's showing that it's sending it over at about 5.24 megabits a second. So it's going pretty quick and just like that, it's done. So now we can go ahead and we can click on the little magnifying glass. And now we can see when the finder window opened up that we have it right here. So it's right in the downloads folder. So we can click that there and just like that, it uh, opens up and it's ready to play. All right, let's close that out there. And now let me show you another great feature with this is that, for instance, if you want to send a very, very large file, it can be difficult at times because like, I like to use a USB thumb drive to transfer files back and forth, but I used to before I had AirDroid. But if I wanted to send a very large file, I couldn't do it. And so let me show you what happens. So here we are, I have my thumb drive open. I also have a folder open here that has a couple of movies. So this movie right here is called uh, The Angel Has Fallen and it's too large. This movie right here is eight gigs. So if I go ahead and put it in there, I'm gonna get this message right here that says, item Angel Has Fallen can't be copied because it is too large for the volumes format. So I'm not gonna be able to send it over there. However, what I can do is I can go ahead and I'll just close that out right quick. What I can do is just simply go over to my AirDroid and I can go ahead and I click on, I can click on the little uh, button down here for files and I'll go ahead and select it right there. We can see that it says it's 8.65 gigs. I'll hit open and just like that, you can see that it's actually sending it over to my Android device and it's sending it to my Android device because I selected it right there. That's my Samsung device. And this right here obviously is my iPhone since it's named that. So, but you can see right here, it's showing that it's transferring over, right here it's showing 10 megabits a second. If you look over on my phone, it's showing that it's transferring at about 17 and a half. It's bouncing between about 14, 15, 17 megabits a second. So this will just take a few minutes for it to finish up because, well, it's a very large file as you can see, it's 8.6 gigabytes. But this is a great way of being able to transfer over very, very large files from your computer or one device to another, whether it's your computer or your tablet or another phone. This is a really great way to do it. So I'm gonna go ahead and let this finish and then we'll check it out once, uh, once it's over on my phone. All right, so there we go, it is finished here. So what we can do now is we can go on our phone, we can just click it right there and it'll ask us how we wanna open the file up. We can choose uh, a folder to open it, I mean a uh, particular app we wanna open it up in, but we can uh, also just go and find it. So what we can do is just go, for instance, to our, uh, our Samsung folder, or that's where I keep it, and go to my files, 
and now we can click on videos and we can find it there. So if we click on there, we can go and we can see that it has um, movies and TVs and downloads and all the transfers and stuff there. So if we click on transfers, we're going to see it right there where it says Angel has fallen and it's going to say 8.06 gigs. So there we go. It is transferred just fine. So yeah, there we go. Now, there is one last thing I want to show you guys on here, which I think is very, very cool. And uh, I'm going to go ahead. I'll just expand this. Uh, no, I'll leave it like it. No, I'm going to expand it. I'm going to go ahead and expand it back so to its full screen. And this is one thing that I really like about this here is that you can go over here to uh, this side section where there's different little tabs where you can have like your call history and your SMS messages, notifications, remote control, and then right here where it says files. This is what I want to show you guys. If you click on files there, you can actually, uh, you can actually search your phone. So you can see here, you can check for like your regular uh, SD card, your uh, external SD card. You can go to your photos section uh, and check out your photos. But what I like to do is I like to be able to come over here and just from my external SD card, I can go into the DCIM folder, which is my uh, photos folder. And I can just go ahead and click where it says camera. And then here's a bunch of different photos right there. So I can just click one if I want and I can see it there. But what I can also do is just go ahead and highlight all of them. And then I can click download. And then I can just go ahead and select which folder I want to download it to. So I'm going to go ahead and just select this folder right here called Android Photos. I'm going to hit save. And it's going to just like that, it's going to start saving the things right to my, uh, right to my uh, Android Photos folder on my desktop. So now I can go ahead and I can just minimize this window here. And I'm gonna be here on my desktop. I can click right here where it says Android Photos and open that up. And there we go. There are all of my photos that I just downloaded right there just that quickly and just that easily. So that's it, you guys. That is, uh, that's, those are the features that I want to show you on AirDroid. It is a fantastic app. It is a fantastic service and it's super easy to get. If you want to get it on your, uh, on your uh, Android phone, all you have to do is just go to the App Store and download it. If you want to get it from your, uh, if you want to get it on your iPhone, all you have to do is just go to the, uh, to the Apple App Store and download it. And if you want to get it on your uh, computer, all you have to do is just go to AirDroid and uh, download the app right from the uh, AirDroid website. So let me just show you guys right here. So you can come right here to the AirDroid uh, store and right there, just click the download button and you can download it and get it for, uh, for your particular device. You'll see here it's available for, uh, for multiple desktop clients. You can use the web version. You can use uh, the Mac OS version, which I'm using. You can also get it for Windows if you're a Windows user and you can get it for iOS and for Android. So it really is a really terrific service. All right, everyone, so there you have it. That is a look at AirDroid. Now, I've been using this primarily as an AirDrop replacement because even though I still have an iPhone, I've been using my Galaxy Note 10 Plus as my daily driver. And one of the things that I miss about having an Android phone is being able to have AirDrop like you get natively with the iPhone. But AirDroid has proven to replace AirDrop. It works quickly, it works easily. And there's other features on there that you really can use that are, that are incredibly nice. I mean, I love the fact that you can just go ahead and send multiple files at once. You can actually uh, mirror your messages so you can actually send messages from your computer instead of actually having to use your phone. So if your phone is nearby and you have it hooked up to AirDroid, you can do that just like you could if you have the messages app opened on your, uh, on your MacBook with an iPhone. So it really is a full, featured, fully functional app. It is fantastic. So anyhow, I'm going to leave a link to it down below so you guys can check it out. I'm also going to leave a link to my Amazon page so you guys can see all the products that I've reviewed over time. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and follow me on Facebook. And I am Larry with todayifeellike.com. Thanks for coming back to see me. Come back and see me soon. And until next time, love, peace, and hair grease. Peace.